Hey there, and welcome to Dull Motion. Ah, who doesn't like cats? Little fur babies, designed to be fearless hunters. Looking at my doll collection, I really like cats. You know who also like cats? My doll artist friend, Delightful. And we collabed to give you two cat-themed videos. And for an extra challenge, our videos will be an impesto rainbow palette. So relax, get yourself a snack, and we are going to make a pesto rainbow cat. Let's begin! If you saw the word cat written on my hand in my previous repaint video, then you found the hint. This video will contain two hints. One for the upcoming supporter video, and one for the next YouTube repaint video. So good luck finding the hints! For this custom, we're going to use this Monster High Reboot Laguna hat. With this detangled series Cassandra body. This body is a bit of a pear shape and has a double knee joint. But the feet are quite big. Ok, let's prep the doll by taking off the hat. Cassandra is easy, but Laguna needs some help. We fill a mug with hot water and leave the doll in it. This will make the vinyl of the hat soft and easy to remove from the neck back. Great, we have our hat! But I want her to have a different hair color. So, to remove the blonde hair, we first need to cut it as close to the head as possible. Then we go in with tweezers to remove the remaining hairs. Well, the glue was kind of stubborn, and I had to keep the head soft by dunking it in hot water. Eventually, the hair and glue was all removed. Now we remove the fishy ears and store them in a bottle for my doll ear collection. Yeah, that's kind of a thing on this channel. With pure acetone, we take off the factory painted face. All clean and ready. Well, we remove the ears, so she needs new ones. With epoxy sculpt, I shaped two pairs of cat ears. Wait one day for the epoxy to get dry and trace the ears on the head. Take them off to reveal a reroute guide. Setting the head aside for now, let's work on the body. It's optional and I usually leave it there, but you can easily remove the brand label with an X-Acto knife and a sanding block. For a body base color, we're going for white. To make a dull, snowy white, I always advise to start with a white primer. After a few layers, continue with a spray paint. Back inside, we give the doll a hole with a lino cutter on our lower back. This will be for her cat tail. The body only needs some blushing with pastel powders and rainbow nails. We seal everything in with a layer of Mr. Super Clear. Switching back to the head. With paint, we define the colors on the head for the reroute. For the hair, I have these two pastel colors. To reroute, you use the eye of a needle cut on an angle placed in a holder. Take a small streak of hair, bind it on the needle, and push it into the head. It's a tedious process, but you can use this time to catch up on a series. 
the middle part always needs more hair than you think. Well, we do want the hair to stay in the head. So, we secure the hairs from the inside with a universal glue and a Q-tip. Wait for the glue to be fully dry. Now we can set the hair in place with hot water. I want this doll to have wavy hair. We need to do a little trick. With the hair still damped, we're going to braid the hair. The rule is simple. The smaller and more braids, the wavier the hair gets. We're going for a medium wave. And now for a second boil wash. We leave the hair to air dry for now. Let's work on our ears and tail. We first paint the ears white with acrylic paint. Lucky I still have some white fur left from my previous repaint video. We cut this in teeny tiny pieces to make homemade flock. Use some fabric glue and push on the flock. Some blushing and the ears are done. Now for the tail. Take a piece of wire and cover it with bandage tape. The tape will give the flock a better grip. It's the same with the ears, we use fabric glue. Use an old toothbrush to take off redundant flock. A cute accessory and we can glue in the tail with super glue. Switching back to the hat again. I love Laguna's face sculpt, but I would love her even better with an open smile. With an X-Acto knife, I make a small incision and add some epoxy sculpt to form small fangs. Now we can match the head with the body. To hide brush strokes, give it a few layers of matte varnish. It really works and you also have a good surface for the face up. To sketch in the face, we use watercolor pencils. Oh, and before you are wondering, the red box is there, so I can lay her flat. And so her hair won't be in the way. For this face up, I'm going for purple eyes. Why purple? Well, that's the only eye color I haven't used for a doll repaint yet. And of course, it fits her color scheme. Here's a great tip. With a clay tool, you can make evenly rounded pupils. And now that I'm shading the eyes with pen pastels, let's answer the question of the day. What are your favorite dolls to work with? Um, for the doll heads, definitely Monster High. And specifically the Monster High boys. Because some of you know my love for making male doll repaints. And for the doll bodies, I would like to say Ever After High or even better the reboot Monster High bodies. I think some people thought I would say Obitsu, but I actually only use them so I can stop motion animate my characters. Well, do you have a question of the day? Please leave your question in the comment section. And maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the custom. With some blushing, we can give the face up a few layers of Mr. Soupy Clear to seal in the new face. To give the face up some more flair, we're going to glue on little sparks of glitter in her eyes and on her cheeks. And 
And to finish the face up, some micro glitter on her lips. Okay, now for our outfit. I got this lovely rainbow unicorn pattern, which I'm going to use to make one of my basic penny dresses. It's simple to make, but very cute. Her jacket was a bit harder to make. But more because I wanted to have lining. The fur fabric was also kind of tricky to work with. But I managed in the end. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the Tangled series dolls have big feet and I was only able to get Ken shoes on them. Cute, but let's turn them into platform shoes. For this we need craft foam and replacement doll shoes soles. Glue them to the shoes one by one. Go around them with a piece of fake leather and we have platform shoes. Ok, and now for our bag. It's the same bag I made for Felicia, Joy and Bonnie in the past. But this time I wanted to have fabric lining. Glue everything in place. A few more details and now we can decorate it. Um, what about stars? Oh, this can also work. You can always find great doll decorations in the nail art department. But let's make the polymer clay slices more dimensional, with a drop of resin. We pop it under a UV lamp and voila! Doll miniature badges! Now we have more than enough to decorate her! Like her shoes and bag! Before we decorate her hair, we first need to work on her hair. As you can see, I already cut off a big chunk of hair. And now we can finally untangle the hair. Using a comb makes it a bit easier. This is also a great moment to glue on her cat ears. A few drips of super glue will do the trick. Another haircut and now she's ready for all the decorations. Oh, not forgetting our whiskers. These can simply be made out of fake eyelashes. And for a more lively feel, you can use high gloss varnish on the nose, lips and lower waterline. Hmm, you know what our cat girl needs? Miniature doll figurines! Inspired by this doll action figurine, I got way back, I want to make more of these figurines. I have been saving up on packaging for over a year. The plastic cutout and cardboard can work perfect. You can leave them empty. 
or fill them with mini figurines. Or make your own. I have a lot of these railroad figurines for my new adopted hobby, where I like to make mini nature scenes and bottles. Yeah, you have to do something to keep yourself busy in lockdown. I'm using a 1 to 87 HO or HO scale. But I think a bigger 1 to 72 scale would be great if you like to make dolls for dolls. But the 1 to 87 scale is perfect to make action figurines. And oh, they are so addictive to make. Oh, and look at this one. It looks like a bootleg My Little Pony. If you like to go one step beyond, you can also make plastic bags out of Ziploc bags. Paint a cute brand and fill the bags. And that's another cat I can add to my cat doll collection. Would you like to see another cat repaint video? Hop over to my friend's channel. Delightful made the cutest pocket sized kitty you will ever see. So what are you waiting for? Links are in the description box. Or wait till the end of the video. Hey, do you like the content I make on YouTube? By becoming a supporter on Patreon or YouTube membership, I will be able to make more videos on YouTube. And as a thank you, you get great rewards. Like this repaint video with more cats. But if you can be a supporter, that's totally fine. You can also help this channel by liking, commenting, or sharing the existence of Doll Motion to a friend. I would like to thank my lovely patrons of honor. Chelsea Panda Monkey, Manading Dreams, Erica Warren, Winter Fox, Cat Vanity, Jay Natalie, Kay Namaru, Tiny Viking 707, Painted by Picasso, Olivia W, and everyone else on Patreon and YouTube membership. Thank you for watching, don't forget to check out Delightful's video and I will see you in the next video, bye!